In this environment, if you're an investor who's looking for income, for yield, then you need to forget about bonds with their absurdly low interest rates, 30-year low, all-time low, a 30-year bond. I mean, come on. you got to start looking for stocks with nice dividends. That 30-year is awful. Consider a utility like American Electric Power, AEP, which owns the largest power transmission network in America, along with a massive power generation portfolio and serves more than 5 million customers across 11 states. Thanks in large part to the precipitous decline in interest rates of late, AEP, which currently sports a 3.3% yield, has managed to give us a 24% return with reinvested dividends as we spoke, last spoke to the CEO. That was just eight months ago. A fabulous game for a slow-growing utility stock among the five best performers in its industry. Actually, it's a fabulous game for any stock. Or consider today's action. AAP reported this morning, and even though it missed Wall Street's earnings estimates by two cents off a of 50 cent basis, revenues that came in lighter than expected, the stock actually rallied to a new intraday high this morning. And in the end, it barely got dinged. It's closing down 80, 87 cents, but the whole group got killed. A very ugly day today. Really bad day today. Can AAP keep climbing given that management reaffirmed their guidance for 2015 and the competition for bonds keeps getting less attractive? Let's check in with Nick Akins, the chairman, president, and CEO of American Electric Power. Learn more about the quarter and his company's process. Mr. Akins, welcome back to Mad Money. Hi, Jim. Great to be with you again. Uh, Nick, I'm reading the release, and it is, I have to admit, uh, did you ever think that, that you would double, more than double, the return of the S&P in a big up year? Well, I thought we had an opportunity there, but certainly uh, it's been a great ride for the investors, uh, over 35.1% increase uh, on a total shareholder return basis over the last year, so it's been great. Well, I mean, you come on time and again. I always tell people, look, don't outthink this thing. This is a good company that pays a good dividend that's the biggest in the country, and you just continue to deliver. Now, in this environment where we just had dramatic cold weather, uh, you mentioned you, at one point in, in the conference call, in summer, we took advantage of extreme weather conditions, performed well. Right. I mean, when I see extreme uh, weather conditions, I tend to think AAP, good time. Yeah, usually when it's cold weather and, and not really – wet snow or anything like that, we do very well because customer usage is up and uh, the market's up. So we're able to take advantage of that. That's exactly what happened in the first quarter. We took advantage of it during 2014 and advanced O&M spending, operation maintenance uh, spending, uh, so that we could actually do things much more quickly. And it's turned out great for us. All right. Now, I, I've got to ask about the shale situation. I mean, you have many, many businesses that, you, that are in your region that are doing much better. It's almost every single part uh, is, is high demand. At the same time, you've got a chart in your presentation, AEP industrial sales growth, AEP shale gas counties. Where are you in terms of if shale gas drilling drops dramatically because there's such a glut, you lose the power sales that you might go to those companies, but gain in the uh, companies that might be moving in your area to take advantage of low-cost energy? Yeah, that's exactly right. We feel like the shale gas counties obviously have been a big producer for us uh, from a revenue perspective. And also, when you think about the growth there, other parts of our business, which were pretty diversified from an industrial base, so, so other parts of the business benefit from low oil, oil, natural gas, and gasoline prices. So other parts of the economy are starting to pick up the slack. So there's a good element of diversity there to hedge each other. Yeah, I mean, you, you're talking about an amazing – I mean, if I didn't know any better, I would say in your region, non-residential construction, construction, these are really beginning to show major gains year over year. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're seeing – now we're finally seeing in all three sectors, industrial, commercial, and residential growth uh, in the order of 3.1 percent overall – but when you look at it, look at the residential, 2.1 percent, commercial, 3.5 percent, and industrial, 3.9 percent, quarter over quarter, that's a pretty healthy, robust mix. And we're seeing uh, construction occur. We're seeing uh, certainly job creation occur in the territories. So really, you see the economy rebalancing in many respects. Now, there was a story uh, in the deal.com you referenced about the idea of maybe selling the unregulated business. You know, I, I have, you, you've got a lot of assets, and I was trying to figure out what does a utility do if it sells a big business? Does it return more capital to shareholders? Does it have to put more money in infrastructure because the uh, EPA is so onerous for you? Like, what do you do if you did have a big chunk of money given to you? Yeah, certainly our plan would be to reinvest in particularly our regulated infrastructure, including the transmission business. As you said, we're the largest transmission provider in the country, and that transmission expertise always gives us the ability to spend capital in that area. Matter of fact, last year, we took advantage of the first quarter and actually plowed more money into the transmission investment. We'll continue to do that uh, as funds become available from a capital perspective. 
And what do you think about about fuel costs? I mean, I'm seeing I'm seeing some numbers, by the way, in Marcellus and Utica area, where the forward curve is indicating to me that natural gas is continuing to go down in that area. I mean, uh, we know coal uh, from uh, Norfolk Southern Union Pacific is still very competitive. It just looks like a bonanza for anyone who needs fuel right now. Yeah, the fuel costs uh, certainly will reduce for customers because you're starting to get in the territory where coal and gas are competing. And that's good for us because we have the flexibility from both aspects. We have plenty of coal, we have plenty of gas, and they can play off against each other. And we have the flexibility to take advantage of it on behalf of our customers. Well, you have done a fabulous job, I and mean, we've been behind you the whole way, which I'm actually proud we did, because a lot of people thought that AAP was fuddy-duddy, but I know exactly your reputation of doing everything right. Congratulations for being a top five utility this year. Nick Akins, Chairman, President, CEO of American Electric Power. Great job. Thank you, Jim. Guys, you know what? We've been saying over and over again, they really know their business. They really know what they're doing. Now, everything's coming down. If you want a little safety and some yield, AEP will deliver for you. We have money's back in the break.